Hi and Assalamualaikum everyone. My name is Sita Hajar and today I will present to you the Crustacean Taxonomy. Let's start. Here is the specimen that I chose. Uh, it is the Charyptis variata atau Uh, dalam Melayunya kita panggil dia suai kata merah so Charyptis variata ni <coughs> dia punya uh, scientific name lah kalau bukan scientific name dia kita panggil kata biasa je lah kata merah because of dia punya warna so I buy this specimen on December Uh, 11, 2020 uh, itu pada hari Jumaat and locality dia adalah from the Avenue Mart to Perak Duit and, and the specimen is a male um, and the collector's name is Saja, which is me, because uh, I am the one who uh, buy this specimen. So I put my name as a collector's name. So this specimen can be found in a shallow water, iaitu air cetek, dan juga di kawasan yang ada batu-batu, rocks, and sandy bottoms. Next is uh, the actual color. Before drying is maroon and white, and the color after drying is orange and white. Ah, uh, so lepas kita uh, kita keringkan dia, betul ke warna dan menjadi orange. Dia punya warna white tu still je sama cuma maroon tu dah bertukar jadi orange selepas ah um, drying. So here is the process. The pictures uh, displayed on the slide are the specimen actual condition before the process start. So ini ada keadaan yang asal, keadaan asal uh, kereta tu belum uh, saya buat apa-apa. Proses -apa. start any process on it. is the picture after I pull the specimen. So the reason I pull, pull the specimen is because to make me easier to take out all the crack meat for the preservation. So yeah, that's it. Uh, then the picture on the left shows that um, after I take out the quick meat, so here uh, is the condition. So macam ni lah kat dalam dia. Uh, lepas saya buat raw, uh, semua isi-isi dia. So di sebelah kanan pula gambar menunjukkan uh, lepas saya uh, keringkan dia. So, uh, I do the drying step twice. Uh, this is because the first one, uh, I dry it under the slime, you know, under matahari kat luar rumah. But it's still a bit moist then. So, I decided to um, dry it in microwave. So, yeah, it becomes like this and... Here is the result. Next, we uh, we continue with preservation and labeling. Uh, so, ini adalah gambar uh, selepas saya preserve dia dekat dalam kotak dan selepas saya dah label dia. So, tengok-tengok kat sini. Kat sini adalah K 
carapace yang sekarang atas tu dan kat sini dan juga sini merupakan uh, mata dia so uh, notch ni adalah yang yang macam bergerigi ni nampak tak uh, so itu adalah notch dia and then antena antena ni sepatutnya dia ada dekat sini dengan sini tapi disebabkan uh, masa saya cuci dia dengan dia patah kat situ so tak ada lah ada kat situ so kita teruskan dengan uh, movable finger dan immovable finger so ini adalah movable finger dan ini adalah immovable finger so ni juga uh, yang ni pun movable finger yang ni immovable finger so ini adalah palm dia dan ini adalah wrist dia Uh, ataupun kita panggil dia carapus uh, ini adalah mirrors so uh, semua ni adalah running legs uh, sama juga yang ni sebelah ni uh, running legs ni untuk dia bergerak lah kan uh, dia jalan ataupun lari-lari uh, ini adalah um, spine claw ni yang dekat hujung a uh, running leg ni uh, dia macam tirus sikit a uh, so dia digunakan sebagai a uh, untuk dia gali lubang so abdomen kat bawah ni tak nampak a uh, so bawah badan dia tu abdomen dan ini adalah flatten leg dia digunakan Uh, untuk uh, berenang so ya yeah. next we continue with taxonomy description so the specimen is in the animalia kingdom and it phylum is arthropoda uh, this specimen is in the malacostraca uh, class and the specimen order is decapoda it is in the Fortunidae family. The genus is called Carotis and the specimen species is Carotis variata or C variata. And then uh, continue with Q&A section. So the question were given by our lecturer itu um, Dr. Ashikin. So uh, she already gave different two questions. So we need to answer it. So the first question are Describe the evolutionary theory that is related to binomial nomenclature uh, based on the selected thing. So my answer is that um, binomial nomenclature, nomenclature is the formal naming system for living things that scientists use. So it's like kita nak namunkan satu isis tu atau sesuatu sesuatu benda hidup tu so, uh, untuk namingkan dia sebagai ke uh, scientific name uh, like that 
So based on the question given, uh, the species that I chose is Charactis variata, uh, which is a swimming crab. So Charactis is called genus. So the genus is Charactis. Uh, this uh, species, uh, sorry, this species is in the Cotonidae family. Uh, it can be found in the tropical and Indo-Pacific region. This uh, species order is called Decapoda, and its class is Malacostraca. The phylum is Arthropoda and the subphylum is Crustacea. Crustacea. Charybdis varieta is under the Anmaya kingdom. Next question is uh, mean, uh, explain the importance of the species conservation for sustainable biodiversity. So my answer is every living thing has their own their own rules in this world. Based on my reading on an article on internet. So I quote is I quote it as the Charybdis varieta is known to predate or by well other decapod crustaceans, fish archaea, gastropods, and detritus. Therefore, it is an omnivore whose ecological impact in a numerous environment may be important, especially if Best growth rates within its three years life life span. So, bawa anda ke sini. Ah, uh, that's me. The species population is important. Ah, uh, to maintain the biodiversity balance in this world. So here is the reference rujukan yang, uh, yang saya tengok dan lihat. Uh, yeah, uh, I think that's all for me. So thank you guys for watching my presentation video. Bye.